Hi, Grace family. Um, I'm just here to share a little bit of encouragement with you today. And I thought I would just share something with you just out of my own time with the Lord um, the last couple weeks. But I have been um, doing readings through a Bible app that's it's actually called She Reads Truth, and they have daily readings. And a few weeks ago, um, one of the themes was knowing God. Um, and one of the days was knowing God through love. And I've really been thinking a lot about that. Um, so I wanted to share a couple things with you. Um, some of the verses that were, involved, were in that reading, uh, 1 John 4, 19, we love because he first loved us. And I think that's so important to remember that we really can't love until we really experience the love of God. And sure, we see love in the world, um, but real, true, deep, genuine love uh, starts with God and his love for us. Um, 2 John 1, 6 says, and this is love, that we walk in obedience to his commands. As you have heard from the beginning, his command is that you walk in love. And it sounds so simple, but I spend a lot of time thinking about um, what does that really mean? What does that really look like? And I just want to encourage you, um, you know, if God says that love is what remains, that love is what's so important. So I want to encourage you to, to keep reading, keep searching out your Bible, keep praying and asking God to show you what it looks like um, to love. I recently was um, reading a book that I also would recommend, and it's called The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. Um, it's by John Mark Comer. And um, one of the things in this book that he says that I think is really challenging and has caused me to stop and really think about it is that you cannot be in a hurry and busy and love at the same time. That's pretty challenging, um, but it makes me think about during this time where things have slowed down, this is an opportunity to really build up that ability to love people. And at first when he said that, I was um, kind of challenged because I've spent a lot of my life busy, and so have I not been loving? And um, But the more I think about it, the more I think it, it's true that if I'm in a hurry, I can't be present with people. I can't listen to people. I can't be patient with people. Um, so I just want to encourage you to spend this time where we have uh, slowed down to do those things and to really ask God to teach you about what it means to love and to just love people, love God, love people. And so with that, I want to encourage you to uh, spend some time, read 1 Corinthians 13, read through the list of what love really looks like. But a few of those things, being patient, being kind, um, not being proud, um, not self-seeking, protecting, hoping, that's just a small part of the list of what it looks like to love. But So that's really my encouragement to you today. Take some time to love God, spend time with him, love people, and um, in that you fulfill everything that God asks of us. So I really do love you guys and um, I'm praying for you and miss you very much.